Do you think that it's your emotions that are making you eat, which is the cause of you gaining weight? Because struggling with emotional eating and its impact on your weight is an actual big deal. But guess what? I got your back. So today I'm gonna give you practical tips like setting barriers before the first bite, sticking to your planned meals, and embracing mindful eating. Now, if you're looking for an accountability coach, go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, mention the five day challenge, we'll get you onto the one month, and then we'll get you into the belly burn. So the first thing is that you have to be honest with your coach once you become a Fit Club member. And we can use exercise temporarily as a coping mechanism, which will gradually get you off of the emotional triggers because you have less time to eat. So once you get involved with the gym and you start exercising five to six days a week, and yes, when you come to Fit Club, you're gonna to wanna to work out at least five to six days a week. So that's gonna take away from time where you're gonna be sitting into your emotions and it's gonna make you wanna eat. I would also tell you to start putting barriers between you and your first bite. Now in Japan, they actually have a saying, I don't know exactly what it is, but it translates into 80%. So what they're telling themselves is that they need to stop when they're 80% full. The thing that works for me and my belly burners is I say, anytime you go to eat something, even if it's a hauls, if it has calories, you need to plug it into your food tracker. Once you have to like start, you know, putting into your food tracker, that's going to put time and distance between you just mindlessly eating and then just putting into your food tracker. You're going to be like, you know what? I really don't want this. Okay. Another tip that you can do is stop and just give thanks for your food. By just giving thanks for your food, it puts a barrier between you and just mindlessly eating. Now, when it comes to eating, we know that snacking becomes an issue. So what you need to do is just have set eating times, okay? You don't eat outside of your set times. Now for me with belly burners, especially we're into the, the mid to low calories, I would tell you that you get two meals and two snacks. After your two meals and your two snacks are done, then we stop eating and we start intermittent fasting. We focus more on fluids. So that method actually might really work for you. So if you are eating, make it the only thing that you're doing. So you can't sit at your desk and be eating your food. You can't be on your phone, texting your friend and eating your food. There's gotta be no distractions. Now, when it comes to being real with your coach, if you do the five days and then you do the one month and then you do the belly burn, then you have to be honest with your coach. There's a guaranteed success. There's something that's not working because of the fact that you're not being honest with your coach. I watch a TV show called Naked and Afraid. And in Naked and Afraid, these people, men and female, all lose weight. And the reason why is because all they find is like a berry. They find a, you know, a snail. And they literally eat under like 2,000 calories for the entire 21 days. And every single one of those women and every single one of those men, they could have low testosterone, they could have a thyroid issue, they could have all these other issues that we tend to blame for our weight loss and they all still lose weight. And so what's the common denominator? Between 13 seasons, I've watched 13 seasons, each season has 10 videos. What is the common denominator? Is that they don't eat any food, and so they all lose weight. Now, is that the healthy way to do it? Absolutely not. Will we find a strategy that works for you? Yes, we will. But I'm telling you, if you put a good plan together, and if you're snacking outside that plan, or you just have like a drink, all those things add up. So you gotta understand that, put that barrier in between you and the food, and you're gonna see, wow, that one drink is like 330 calories. You go get a Starbucks matcha latte grande, and you're looking at almost 400 calories just for a drink. Now, how many of us can have two or three coffees back to back? You put enough cream in there, you put enough sweetener in there, and we can easily chug down two liters of coffee. Could we do the same with water? Probably not, but because this is so sweet, so tasty, we tend to overeat those things, but we don't track those things and all these calories, they all add up. Now, when it comes to exercising, like I said, we can utilize your time better. So instead of you just going to work, pick up your kids, go home, you do a little things around the house and then you sit down and how many of us are spending way too much time on our phones or watching TV? Like our screen time is crazy right now and there's tons of research showing that adults over the age of 35 are spending at least two and a half to three hours of screen time every single day. And what happens when we get on the screen? Well, we see ads of food. We see other people cooking stuff. We get hungry because we're getting bored. So what ends up happening is that we eat 
and we didn't exercise. So we definitely didn't earn it. So the thing I would tell you is that once you start exercising, you're actually going to save money. Think about how much it costs for you to go out on a night out with your spouse, right? I was talking to a guy the other day. He said that they had four drinks, he had two beers, and his wife had two drinks that were actually happy hour drinks. The two drinks by themselves were $22 for her. The two beers were $20 for just the two beers, nine bucks a beer, that's common. Then they had an appetizer, then they had a meal each, and all they ate was carbs. They probably ate around 4,000 to 5,000 calories each. The total bill was $182, $182. Imagine, you can put that towards your fitness, and once you start exercising, you're like, you know what, I don't wanna ruin my results, so let's just save our eating out till the end of the month. So you go from once a week to once a month, and that's how you're gonna really see results. Now, as hard as it sounds, you're probably gonna need accountability as you go through this journey. Message us on our website, www.fitclub.fit. Mention the belly burn, and we'll get you started today.